Praise the Lord. Good morning. I, I had planned on getting out walking, but the winds are battling. <laughs> and so last night we had a pretty good wind storm and storms. And so the remnants of the derecho, the straight winds, are still going on. And I said, you know what? We ain't going to cut out my microphone. Plus, it's, it's, it's rather cool, although I'm dressed for the part. But I'm going to sit in my car and try to encourage someone as I leave this alone. Feeling rough. Thank God for physical health and strength that blesses us to fight disease and sickness. So I'm sitting here at the train station. It's pulling up now, and you guys will probably hear the bells in a minute as I leave this alone with the bells and whistles of of someone's behavior, conduct, speech to gain and gather and keep our attention. Um, I'm not depressed. I'm not sad or mad or angry as I go into my message. Y'all hear the train behind me. Um, I had someone ask me a few days ago, how did I know? And it, it hit me hard too. He inboxed me. He said, brother, can I ask you a question? I said, sure. He said, I don't want to offend you, but can I ask you a question? I go, sure. And he goes, um, how did you know your marriage was over? And I promise you the pin cushion hit needles in my face, the pine cone, prickling of the skin hit me and I said you know what let me pray on this before I respond because I don't respond quickly haphazardly in a hurry out of vainness out of vanity out of playing the victim so let me pray upon this before I try to expand both our understanding and expound on that question so he hit me with a huge LOL and said okay my brother, here it goes. There would be times when I would feel her trying with me, but I was all cried out. True story. I was all uh, tried out. I was all lied out and fried out. My mind lying to myself. We were lying to one another. We could make it. We could overcome this. But it takes two to tango it takes two to fight and it takes two it takes two <laughs> it takes two me and you as i leave this alone so i was feeling the zern in my heavy heart and burdened mind that she was trying but i was all lied out my brother all cried out my sister all fried out and tried out and I would just, I would just become a shell of a person. I was distancing myself from her uh, unveiled attempt to reconcile. <laughs> Excuse me, allergies, as I leave this alone. And so, overstanding that we were done. I had made up my mind spiritually, mentally, emotionally, supernaturally, maritally, verbally, socially, and finally, and prayerfully, faithfully, that I just couldn't do this anymore. I didn't want to hold a hand. Hear me, y'all. Don't, don't, don't tell me, y'all. I, I didn't want to uh, eat with her. I didn't want to walk and hold hands and talk with her like I used to because I was all lied out, fried out, tried out, and cried out as I leave this alone. And the truth of the matter is that it was very um, grievous. It was very um, painful. It was very unsettling. It was very draining and, and and drawing on my mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical strength. 
and, 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 and the reason that we had gotten to this point, yeah, we, all the fussing and fighting, all the verbal abuse, all the tries and fails, all the attempts, and this went on for a few years, a number of years. And, and, and I recall my son asked me a question a few years ago, a couple years ago. He said, Dad, he said, you ever felt like when you, you be trying so much and the other person don't and you feel alone? Shut the front door. They hit me so hard in the face. My son asked me one time, how come you and mom couldn't make it, Dad? And I just told him um, what I felt like was a good truth. Sometimes two good people just can't make it as I leave this alone. So, brother, that's a, 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 a part of the answer, a fraction and a faction of the answer. But when it's over, it's over. And I'm not trying to demise or degrade or depress or to deject someone this morning. I pray that I'm being blessed of our father to teach. My son asked me one day, Dad, how you be get so cool? I told him humiliation. He laughed so hard. I said, yes, sometimes being humbled comes from humiliating yourself as I land our father's spacecraft. So we can try for years to save someone. But the Bible says to lay aside the weight of sin that's so easily besetting us, be setting you up, be setting you back, be setting you down, uh, be setting you uh, apart. How much does that man weigh on your heart and mind? How much does that woman weigh on your heart and mind? How much does your husband or your wife, your fiance, your uh, significant other weigh on your heart, mind, and life? And it's stopping you from progressing or recovering from the fisticuffs and pain of marriage or relationship. I'm feeling a little better. Father, give me the strength as I leave this alone. So, y'all, we have to really, really overstand that when you subject and submit your heart and mind to something or someone who's not going to change to make the situation of marriage better, it's like these winds that's going on right now. This way, that way, this way, <laughs> that way. The winds and the weight uh, are going to uh, bog you down and blow you every which way but loose as I leave this alone. It's painful. It's going to be painful. But as my mama and papa you say, would you rather get out with a heart in pieces or a heart in peace at a later date and time, of course, as I leave this alone. So when you don't want to hold hands, you don't want to eat with one another, you don't want to do nothing with the person, y'all, it's over. And I hope I'm not depressing or causing anyone any pain. But when I realized that I didn't want to try anymore, I was all tried out, lied out, cried out, fried out. When I realized that the amount of time I had spent trying to save the marriage had also contributed to the amount of time I had lost and became Steely Dan, <laughs> I had to swallow my pride, the pain, and endure and suffer from the Velcro tearing of the soul. I pray we were taught. I pray we learn. I pray we get better, y'all. I'm going back to bed. I'm lay down a little bit. Learn from your pain. Learn from your failure. If you don't learn from pain and failure, you're not gonna learn from nothing. I knew when it was over when I didn't want to hold hands or do anything else or even try anymore. I pray we learn. I pray we will talk. Heavenly Father, peace.